back everyone i'm hello goddess and this is another pick a card video which is going to be all about what is it that you are manifesting in your life soon so the kind of energies that you are going to be encountering or what events or experiences you are attracting in your life so we have got three options again the very first option is king of swords on the very left then we have queen of swords in the middle which is the second option and lastly we've got the king of wands on the very right which is the third and the last group the timestamps are going to be given in the description box below as usual you can choose whichever option is calling out to you the most and um, you can also choose more than one option if more than one option is calling out to you um, or you're feeling drawn to and um, with that being said let's move on to the first option king of swords okay so if you've chosen the option number one these are all of the cards that i got for you i have page of wands then we have ten of wands temperance the two of wands five of cups queen of swords the knight of swords then we have ten of swords and the page of cups at last so those are all of the cards that i got for you and i do have a couple of cards off camera as usual um so the topic of today's reading is going to be all about what is it that you are manifesting in your life so i'm going to talk about all about that and this one could be a bit longer than usual i mean i'm just gonna see what messages come through and um how long it gets so let's see what do we have for this topic first of all when i was shuffling your cards i got a sense that I don't know if you're consciously manifesting this but i feel like for a lot of you love is coming into your life i see like a potential partner somebody who has the potential to be a long-term partner you know um like i see a long-term connection stepping into your life that's for some of you i also do see somebody going on a date for some of you you are manifesting a date um you know what's going on it's kind of um the messages are a bit are a bit scattered in this reading and for some of you you want um for some of you, you just want like a date you know you just want to go out um you don't want to take it too seriously um you just kind of want it to be casual that's kind of what i see but for others of you I feel like you are looking for the one and only person. Somebody is going to be loyal to you. Somebody is going to be um, somebody is going to be there for you. I feel like there are a lot of people now for the that person, whoever this is that um, resonates with this, that you do want a person who is going to be loyal for you. I feel like for those of you, you are kind of you've probably dealt with. Um, unstable people in your life the people who just cannot commit the people who just are a bit of a trouble to deal with um they're just a pain if i have to describe in one word now these could vary from person to person but i feel like you might have people in your life already but you're just so over those people and you're just like no i don't want this kind of mess in my life like i just i cannot deal with this again or this is not what i am going to um give my all to you know this is not this is not it you're not satisfied with the kind of people or the kind of options you have access to as of right now so that's for some of you so you are manifesting somebody who is going to be on your level who's going to kind of share the kind of values that you have who's not going to be so opposing to your energy because i feel like the people that are present in our life or the people that you have encountered recently have been kind of um have been opposing you opposing your energy and you just kind of feel a resistant resistance sorry towards those people um so i feel like yeah that's kind of the vibe and let me see what else i also do want to say there is somebody who's manifesting love you are quite um secure right now that's the reason why love is coming towards you now if you resonate with this message then love is for sure entering your life the way you want it 
you know it does not it does not make any difference what i am saying whatever type of love you are craving you are wanting in your life or you desire to have that's the one that is entering your life if you are kind of fitting the type of um zone that i'm just going to describe so it's almost like the kind of person i'm channeling is someone who is also like you know who you are and like what kind of person you want to be with first of all that's that and then i feel like you also are feeling secure within yourself in the way things are heading in your life you're not feeling like you have to run and chase after someone or something um that's instilling a lot of stability within you also i feel like you do have faith in universe in god um in higher power or like the angels or somebody you know you do have faith or if not all of that maybe you have faith within your own self and that's the kind of a generalized idea that i am able to tap into um for the person that is manifesting love in their life successfully the way they want it and that's kind of what i see oh my goodness i just heard somebody's coming in your life who's going to intrigue you who's going to um who's going to uh like make you curious who's going to also excite you in a way that nobody has d- has done like lately especially you probably have kind of like you know um when we meet people and like you just don't get interested in any of them and you're like okay it's fine like it was decent but like i'm not really looking forward to having another date with them or like i'm not really i don't want to see this person again because yeah it was fine but it was average i feel like something is going to finally spike your interest or like your curiosity like somebody is coming and this person is going to intrigue you in a way that you would want to take off that mask you would want to step ahead you would want to um put down your walls your defenses you know you would want to take a step ahead with this person you would want to give this person a chance you would want to look in this person's direction you know i feel like for others of you or for others that have been present or you have dealt with you have not been wanting to do any of those things you've kind of just kind of um for a lot of you i feel like there are people i don't know why i'm channeling somebody's energy who's like people are texting you all the time or like constantly in your phone is literally buzzing with all of these people who are wanting your attention and your time and your energy and you're like you're just sleeping on these people you're just kind of like okay i just don't want to deal with these people you would rather sleep than interact with these people you know for, for you they're just like i don't know you just don't vibe with these people probably or something of that kind yes you might meet this person through a mutual friend or through somebody also it could happen for some of you you might meet this person online for some of you okay not for everyone either it's going to be online or it's going to be through traveling or it's going to be through a third person that's kind of cuz i see number 3 a lot number 3 is everywhere um so something about that someone also wants to have a kid somebody wants to get married say so, yeah, um i feel like if you are manifesting marriage um if you want to get married and you are kind of growing impatient or you just want to find the right partner you want to find the right person you would want to spend your life with in just kind of um reach that point of life like reach that level so that you could be done with it and then focus on other things maybe that's your sole focus in life right now marriage for those of you i see it happening yeah so i feel like for some of you 
if you have been wanting to get married for some time already for some of you i feel like it's been three years you've been trying to get married for some of you this could be six months or three months even six months three years i don't know it's been the process has been started but it's almost like you've been waiting for the right person but it's not like it doesn't seem to be happening it is going to happen though i see you are meeting the right match i heard the perfect match you can meet you know what i feel like you could also have a fixed signs of it prominently placed in a birth chart that would be leo aquarius taurus and scorpio and this person could also have that so this person is kind of going to really uh, match your energy and you both could also be earth signs taurus virgo capricorn i'm hearing by the end of this year by the end of this month something might be revealed by the end of this year for some of you someone also wants to have a kid i see okay um I'm I'm hearing okay for some of you now this is not about love I feel for some of you if there is something in our life that you have been trying to do correctly or it's probably not going your way or it has not been going the way you have wanted it to go I'm hearing specifically I'm also hearing number 4 for some reason um yeah so there is something in our life that is finally going to go the way you have been wanting it to go it's going to go in your favor the way you have been planning or imagining it to be something is finally you're going to win and this is a big win i see you have i'm also hearing you've cracked the code you've finally discovered what needs to be done and how it needs to be done in what way This is quite perfect. I'm here in perfection. Somebody has mastered the art of something or they've um figured out something in their life and now the only thing that can happen or that can come about is perfection. People are going to be able to people are going to look up to you. You are you're bringing in something in our life that is going to put you on such a high pedestal or like people are just going to see you view you in such high regard in on such a high pedestal i see yes i'm hearing keep trust keep um trusting your instincts or keep trusting your gut something about that Somebody has a small plushy or like a stuffed toy, you know? I see that. Like a tiny one. And um Someone could also like to wear the color black or you are going to wear the color black on a on a special day, like a like an important day or an important event. Yes. For some of you, you are you're manifesting somebody who's so rich. Like I don't know why they're focusing on this person being so um financially stable. Like I don't know why I also kind of heard like a song or something like somebody is so rich and you connecting with this energy this individual whoever they are i don't know what this person does though 
I'm kind of tapping into the energy of the emperor or something, or the king, literally. Um, yeah. This person is so rich. They would, they would be able to fulfill all your, like, outrageous desires when it comes to money. I'm hearing in a room full of people, this person would only have eyes for you. That is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. It's so, oh my goodness. It's so heartwarming. Love it. You know when, okay, so if you... I don't know why this reading is becoming all about love and I know if you've chosen this pile and probably love is not your, on your mind or something like that, um, you might have to pick another pile because I'm hearing another message about love and is that when this person is going to come into your life, um, you are going to say to someone or maybe that's just going to be... Um, the way you are going to think about this person naturally, you would say to someone that I have met the most amazing person in the entire world. That's kind of something like that. Like you have met the most amazing person. Okay. You are meeting somebody who probably could have a different... Like a lot of cultural differences for some of you. Or well, this person could be very interested in a different culture. Like a... I don't know. I was hearing Italian for some reason. So, something about that. I'm hearing slow down. Slow down. Do not rush. Somebody's coming. I was hearing hold your horses, somebody's coming. Something like that. But who? Okay. Someone also needs to get enough sleep. I see that. For a lot of you, if um, the love part in this entire reading did not make much sense to you, I would say you are manifesting something in your life or the kind of experiences which is kind of, it feels like a big break to me. If you have, especially if you've been under a lot of pressure, you've just been feeling so burdened and it's all been so heavy on you weighing so heavily i feel like for you um yeah i don't know i just kind of lost my trail of thoughts but you are inviting experiences um you're inviting energies which are going to be which are going to feel like such a big break like finally you're just gonna relax and enjoy and it just it is going to feel like relief you know that's what it looks like Someone is going to say something to you. And this is so sweet. Um, I don't know who this person is. They're good with words though. But it's not, it's not fake or anything. This is very much real. But someone is going to say something to you. And this is so... This is like their true thoughts about you or about... Um, something they've been thinking about. Or something they would just say randomly, you know, just by looking at you or when they would be spending time with you. Um, yeah. It might not be such a huge thing for this person to say it, whatever this is. It could be a compliment, could be just a sweet gesture or something, you know, um, this person says to you. Again, it might just be something random that pops up in this person's head and they wouldn't think too much and they would just say to you but this is going to mean so much to you it's going to mean it's going to make your day i see that 
somebody's name could start with G or J, first name or last name. Okay, so I'm going to finish out this file right here. If you liked this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And also subscribe down below if you haven't already. And do keep in mind that this is a general reading. So if you do wish to book a personal reading with me, you can definitely email me. And my email is given in the description box below. Thank you so much once again for watching. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye. See you guys next time. Okay, so if you chose in the option number second, these are all of the cards that I got for you. I have Knight of Wands, then we have the Two of Swords, Three of Swords, the Devil, then we have Queen of Swords, the Hierophant, Death, Nine of Swords, and the Tower. We have so many swords over here. I feel like somebody's going to have air signs somewhere prominently placed. There's a lot of thinking going on also. Um, air signs would be Aquarius gemini and um libra yes also um these cards do not follow the traditional titles of the right away tarot cards so just keep that in mind and the topic of today's reading is going to be all about what is it that you are manifesting in your life um the incidents that you are going to be encountering soon the energies that are going to be um infused in our life um so yeah let's see what do we have for this topic what are you attracting okay um let's see i'm hearing somebody's um somebody's got your back there is there is something coming in your life if it feels a bit daunting if it feels a bit if you feel intimidated by something if you feel like there's some sort of a risk you just kind of don't feel sure of it i would like you to just know that there is someone your guide or the universe whoever you believe in they have got your backing they have um they have your support uh, sorry you have their support and they're standing right behind you not in a creepy way just like you know what i'm trying to say it's almost like they are always in favor of you that's kind of what i see I'm hearing victory. Somebody's finally going to... Somebody's finally completing a cycle or completing or achieving something that they have been... Um, that they've been always working towards or it's almost like... Um, I don't know. This is a victory of some kind. I, I'm not too sure if this is in regards to work. It could be in regards to anything really, but this is a victory. I see people cheering for you. This is not something you're celebrating in silence. Sorry, not cele uh, this is not something you're celebrating alone or like with a couple of people. Could be with a couple of people, but I feel like this is not something which is like, you just keep it to yourself. This is like known to a lot of people. A lot of people are, are cheering for you and I see it happening. So that's that. I'm hearing you rising above it all, whatever, oh, okay, there was something that brought you down, and the fact that I'm, when I'm speaking about this message, I'm also being drawn to the card, the blasted oak, which is the tower, um, in this deck, um, the wildwood tarot, so the tower, obviously, it does talk about a downfall, and that too, a quick, abrupt one, if you've had faced something of that kind, um, something which led led to your downfall, which made you feel um, quite low and not good about yourself, I don't know, something that just brought you to the ground. Like you were at um, a certain level and then it you hit the ground, you know, something happened. An incident, something unexpected, as I said, abrupt downfall came about because of an incident, because of somebody or someone. And I feel like finally you've overcome that experience or finally you've risen above all of it, whatever this was. Um, so that's what I see. I'm also hearing Libra, but I feel like this time they're talking about, they're reminding me of the card of justice. Oh my goodness. Do you see in the Two of Arrows, uh, which is the second card, there is injustice written. Somebody feels like something 
was not fair to them like something happened in our life and it was not fair for you i don't know justice is being served to you you are going to receive justice for your actions for your efforts um for whatever you went through um it's not unseen it's not it has not gone unseen it has not gone unnoticed if you are thinking that um you're highly mistaken someone's name could start with s m someone could also like to eat fish i see that or something about a fish um fish also represents money so somebody could oh yes 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 i see you elevating and when we talk about somebody elevating in like reaching a certain level i feel like it is also it's almost like people are seeing you as royalty i don't know what you're doing or what have you achieved but people see you as somebody who's like quite hard to um quite hard to um i don't know it's almost like you are so revered in society by the people that are around you especially your friends and like the people who used to be quite close to you or probably still are close to you but they are seeing you on um on such a high pedestal they are seeing you in such a light that's really hard for them to get a grasp of you almost i want to say okay that's for someone a mirroring life is like a movie i don't know who believes in this there is certainly somebody who picked this pile who believes that life is like a movie and i feel like you have gotten past if if this is you you have gotten past the phase of climax um things are about to go uphill for you i'm hearing somebody's rooting for you somebody has been rooting for you for quite some time yes you are about to enter a time of your life a phase i want to say where you're going to feel like everything seems to be going everything's going so well just like how you planned it just like how you always wanted it even better than that for some of you i'm hearing something like this is exactly the way you thought or like this could not be better than whatever it is going on right now in your life somebody is quite contented with how things are going or is about to be um obviously about to be because it's all about what are you manifesting i'm hearing number 7 no it's not the end if you think it's the end of your dreams um your hopes have been crushed the end of your goals no it's not it is not the end it is the beginning in fact that's kind of what i see something's about to happen in the upcoming 2 months something significant will take place number 5 is significant and 25 that could um yeah that could be significant the date especially i feel like somebody has um i don't know how to even explain this but you are about to meet up with someone or you are connected with someone i don't know if you're meeting up with this person but you are being close like you're being drawn closer to this person and they're being drawn to you in some way like due to some incident or something that's happening in your life or in their life there is a person that you are meant to be with yes But I feel like your focus is not on love. At least not entirely. Not um if we talk about where your focus lies right now, I would say 
it's not on love but even if it is it's not so much on love most of it is somewhere else probably your career probably um some other issue that's going on in your life right now or it could be money whatever this is it's not on love but love is coming that's what i can say and um I want to say there is somebody who's dreaming about you. I I don't know if you have manifested this person to be this way, but if you have manifested a specific person to be obsessed with you, a specific person that you already know, this is not a stranger, you know this person very well. This could be somebody from the past obviously they have to be. Even if this person is not in your contacts right now, like you don't um you're not actively in contact with this person you don't know what this person is going um going through um they have no idea about idea of your whereabouts still i want to say if you have manifested for someone to be obsessed with you it has worked brilliantly and i want to say this person is this person cannot stop thinking about you yes is they are freaking obsessed i don't even know if you have an idea about this or not but this person is quite quite invested in you yes i'm not too sure about their intentions though like what kind of a person this is they're not really telling me a lot about this person but one thing i can say is that you have struck a chord within this person's heart even if this person is not the kind to fall for someone or to be really attracted to someone um if this person is the kind of a person who would probably just keep to themselves not really engage uh with someone too much still you have done it successfully and this person is very much going insane for you I can see it. This person's name could start with A. I'm hearing that. Um also D P and um I'm also hearing S for some of you. First name or last name? This person could also have a pet. You could have one um If you are also thinking about this person, if you also happen to be, it's not required, but if you also happen to be thinking about this person, you have no idea how deep this person is in it, in their thoughts for you. Like it's not even comparable. It's crazy. I yeah, I think this person you are not close right now. If if you were close to this person, if you were having um, like conversations um, with this person, I think you would have an idea. This person's obsession is quite strong and intense in that way. Someone's eating candy. I see. Okay. Someone could also be a Leo. I see that. I'm hearing someone is um someone wants to build a new life. I'm hearing for someone. I don't know what this new life is all about. This could be about you traveling to a different place. Maybe you want to switch up your friend circle. Um you probably don't want to deal with your exes anymore. You probably want new people um in your life. you just are so over your past already at this point um you want nothing to do with it if that is you if you are wanting to build a new life and you don't want to look back in the past anymore like it's it's over it's done and you just kind of want to say goodbye to it forever if that is you it is happening i see it coming it is coming quite um 
I think it has already begun, I would say. But there is going to be... There's going to be a moment when you will break out of your comfort zone. And that's the time it would be... Um, that's the time when you would be able to discern that this has come about. Whatever this um, could be. But the new cycle or like your new life has begun. Okay, I'm also hearing somebody who's going to be slightly older than you is coming into your life. Are you attracting this sort of an individual? I was hearing somebody is... Uh, yeah, I do see there is someone who cannot stop their feelings for you. This person might do something absolutely foolish. If you are manifesting someone, I cannot stress it enough. It is working. It is freaking working. This person is going crazy already. More than I can say. And they are going to do probably something absolutely foolish. Just to get all of it out of their system. Whatever they're thinking. Also, I want to say there is somebody who's been in contact with you for some time. There's been an on and off sort of a thing going on between you two. Or it's never, it was never stable, you know. You kind of just don't trust this person or whatever the case is. You just kind of do not vibe with this person or like... Um, you just don't feel that way, the way you used to feel in this connection anymore. And I feel like for that, if that's the case, I see you breaking away from this connection, um, going separate ways, going your own way, and this person is going to go a different, like they're going to take a different path. I see that happening. Someone's name could be, I, I, I just heard Edward out of nowhere. Also, somebody's name could also start with M. The shoes. I see someone's shoes. They're so... Um, I, I want to use the word peculiar, but there's something about the shoes. Maybe it's yours or it's this person's. They are going to... Um, they're going to be quite, there's going to be something catchy about it. The kind of shoes this person is going to wear. I'm also hearing their cologne or like this person's scent or maybe it's you. You have got somebody intoxicated. Okay. Yes. I also do see you meeting up with people in the upcoming two weeks. Two weeks to two months. Um, and I'm also hearing for some of you that in the upcoming six months, there's going to be there's going to be a significant event where you will meet up with a lot of people. You will probably also end up meeting up with somebody important, somebody you're supposed to meet. Yes, um, that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing be careful. Be careful of certain energies. Of the kind of people who are making you feel... If you talk to someone and you kind of feel... Um, unsure, doubtful, or just this person. This person could have the sort of energy that makes you feel, or makes you doubt yourself a whole lot more, or like makes you unsure of yourself. Just step away from that individual. Just kind of don't 
engage with that person too much make you like make your distance with them especially so um yeah i'm going to uh, finish out this part right here if you liked this video please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again for watching hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time okay so if you've chosen the option number third these are all of the cards that i got for you i have the emperor then we have seven of cups queen of wands then we have the full card the hierophant three of pentacles five of wands five of cups seven of pentacles and the nine of pentacles at last so those are all of the cards that i got for you and i do have a couple of cards off camera as usual the topic of today's reading is going to be all about what is it that you are manifesting in your life so i'm going to talk about this topic in detail let's see what energies you are attracting you are bringing forth in your life so let's see what do we have from our guides now one thing i do want to say right away when i was shuffling your cards i got the sense of i want to say financial freedom or like there is something about money that's very much present or something about stability, something about, I feel like stability in money or something about a really massive goal when, uh, when it comes to money that you have, which is about to be, which is about to become true or which is about to, um, which is about to fulfill in a way. And that's kind of what I see because i see somebody struggling or has been struggling with money for quite a long time at this point and it's almost like you have been walking down this path for so long but you have not gotten what you deserve or like whatever you desire that's kind of what i see there's been a long period of suffering already yes certainly and i'm hearing do not lose hope hold on it is coming whatever this is that you are asking for when it comes to money also if it is in regards to a specific offer or maybe you want a certain opportunity of some kind um, maybe it's a job that you are desiring i do see it happening for you also even if you feel like it's never gonna happen that's kind of what i see i'm hearing all the eyes will be on you soon you are not going to you probably feel quite i feel like your confidence and your self-worth um your self-esteem everything feels quite shaken right now you feel like you are not seen by people you feel like people around you they don't see your worth um because of because of the things that have been happening in your life but soon all the eyes will be on you you're going to do something or i don't know something that you're doing is attracting a lot of attention there's just massive change coming in your life which is going to trigger this sort of um, chain of events that people are just going to be wondering what is going on in your life and how did you even do it yes It is too overwhelming, I have to say. There's something huge that's coming in. Something that is going to shake you up a bit too much. I'm hearing four months. Something might happen in the upcoming four months. I'm also hearing the word revival. Okay.
and i also feel like um it is not in just regards to pentacles money um there are also other factors involved people are going to see you in high light in high regard i see something about the color red is so significant here maybe you would wear that a lot something about it red green and yellow all three something about these colors is quite significant somebody could also have dark hair i'm hearing the plan that you have been building is finally coming to action Yes, someone's name could start with V. I'm hearing. Also, um, I'm also getting T, and um, I'm also hearing E as well. Those could be first name or last names, initials. Okay. I see you. Um, okay. I'm hearing somebody's changing their destiny but that's how it feels like it appears to be this way from the outside I mean okay so um, this is kind of the sort of message that I just got somebody here is making a bold move maybe you have been you just gone through so much and you're just so tired of struggle or like waiting or delay that you are now cutting through time and you're jumping from one point to another to the level that you want to be at to the things uh, that you desire that's kind of what i see also i want to say that you are wait i also see you turning down a lot of people who are going to be approaching you or if it's probably if it's just one person then maybe just one person um, but I see you turning down someone who is coming and approaching you um, it's almost like you don't have time oh okay I'm also hearing you're about to be extremely occupied with things in your life you're just going to be so busy in life you wouldn't have time for for things for things that you probably have time for right now um something's going to happen in the upcoming two months i'm hearing uh, whenever you're watching this reading you are not going to have a lot of time to spare um it's just that you're just going to be really occupied you cannot help it um it's just going to be this way and it seems like some people would want your attention want your time want to spend time with you but you just will not have time um unfortunately so that's that so your connection with some people might break or like just fade a little bit yes okay For a lot of you, there is something really big coming in for you. I don't really have the moon card, but I can say one thing, that there is this energy of the moon almost encircling your reading. I don't even have the moon card off camera, so it's really interesting why I'm getting the vision of the moon card itself. I know what they're trying to say. The messages in this pile are not really flowing the way they usually flow and I know why that is the case and, and I and I know why um, I just got the vision of the moon card there is something really massive that the universe is that all the experiences that you have been going through for the last um, seven to eight months have been tightly um, interwoven into this sort of uh, a series of events you can call it 
so that you could it's like a chain of events that you had to go through so that you could reach this point or you could experience this particular moment in life that is about to happen obviously and which is hidden by the moon card um by the energy of the moon so i feel like something that you have gone through for six to seven months past six to seven months it is leading you up to something huge that is about to uncover in your life unravel um reveal itself to you something is revealing itself to you um also somebody has become quite cold turned into i don't know if this is again just take this message only if it resonates do not do not even entertain this message if this is not for you i'm hearing there is somebody who has turned a bit cold turned a bit um like turn into someone who is not um i don't know not very playful a bit serious you know and that's the way i would describe this person's energy i feel like it's you if this is you then there is somebody coming in to lighten up the mood the vibe that's going on in your life just kind of um let you loosen up a bit and um just be playful just be light-hearted that's kind of what i see maybe you need to do that okay I'm also hearing you're going to uncover a lot of um, things that are not right for you. If there are people that don't serve you um, well, like those people just don't um, have the best intentions for you. Certain energies might not align with you. They're just, you know so much at this point, you have become so clear and you've become so wise i want to say and also quite smart that you just know what is right for you and what is not there's no denying that and i feel like in the next couple of weeks i would say i feel like the longest it can stretch is six weeks you're going to cut off ties with a lot of people energies from the past that are simply not serving you simply just kind of taking energy from you not giving it back um it's just really taxing i see so if that is the case also you're ending a cycle that has been going on in your life for quite some time you're like i am over this i'm not going to deal with this anymore like i'm just so done with it especially if it's a friend who is gossiping a lot who is just not good for you or if it's a habit oh my goodness I did not even realize this is a habit for some of you. It's not a person. It's a habit. Something you have been indulging in too, which is not good for you. You are finally giving it up. Finally. Um, you're taking this. Um, you're um, taking on this new role. Um, making a promise to yourself. Number nine and number six are quite significant. I see yes you know what there is this energy of like in other piles i don't remember which one but i got in one of the piles that um there's this energy of com not completion but it's almost like there's this energy of like a new cycle beginning but in yours there's this energy of completion almost like something that has been going on for quite some time already it could be um, a career path. It could be um, whatever this is. You have been, especially if, if you have put in effort for a very long time and if you've not seen the results, if you've been waiting for something, finally the wait is going to be over, I'm hearing. So this is more so, this part is more so about completion than a new cycle beginning in our life. That's kind of what I'm hearing. That's kind of what it feels like, to be honest. You're also inviting energies in your life who are going to be very honest with you as well. Um, you're going to connect with people who are going to be sharing 
Um, I don't know why I'm hearing these people are not going to judge you. Uh, maybe that's one of your biggest fears or something. Um, but it's almost like I see you connecting with new energies. Also, you going to new um, you entering into new lands or like a new territory for some of you. That could be the case as well. Yes. Um, someone's name could start with H. I'm hearing. Also, F, first name or last name. Something about a sunflower, I'm hearing. Um, maybe you'll see one or um, if you see a sunflower or like a yellow flower of any kind, really. I'm not too sure what kind of flower this is. It is talking about you stepping into... It is talking about you... Um, Becoming the person who has or who is capable of having all that you're desiring. And in reality, we just need to change ourselves. So you have done the work. If you see that um, specific yellow flower that I was talking about, um, you have done the work if you see that. Yes. Yes, something about completion. It's almost like it is done, finally. You've been working for too long. Not anymore. You don't have to struggle. You don't have to walk further. It's, it's here. I'm also hearing there might be a blessing in disguise kind of a situation. A situation where you feel like you are being dragged down or like things are feeling hopeless. You just don't feel... You just don't like the energy that you're feeling in the situation or the one that has happened recently, you know? Or something that's happen happening currently. I feel like you are kind of missing the point here. It is a blessing in disguise. It is not bringing you down. Rather, it's um, elevating you in a way. Yes. Um, and as I said it, I'm being drawn to the Hierophant card. And if you can see, there's like this um, staircase. You know, it's going so up in the sky, so high that you cannot even see it properly. Like, where is it ending? You cannot even see it. So it's almost like... And the Hierophant card always talks about some sort of a struggle, you know. It does talk about its own struggles and challenges. And the number on it is also five, which indeed is all about struggles and challenges and um, obstacles that come in our way. So, yes, there might be some sort of a, some sort of an interference, I'm hearing, um, between you and... Um, between you and something, but I feel like this is not going to be able to... This is not something which is bringing you down. That's why I'm hearing. I feel like for you guys, if you've chosen pile number three, you are kind of losing hope. You are kind of feeling tired and you're just feeling like, it's been going on for a long time. I cannot deal with this anymore. I cannot do it all over again. You don't have to do anything all over again. Like, you don't have to uh, start something and then, like, work hard for it. There is this energy of completion. So you have done the work already, if you realize that. So you kind of should be surrendering right now, if, if anything, really. Yeah, so um, I'm going to uh, finish off this part right here. If you liked this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And also subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind that this is a journal reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again for watching hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time